Hey everyone, what's up? It's the Funny Bass Man, and today I'm bringing you episode 5 of the uh, our French Empire series in Road to 56. Um, so last episode we did a lot of build-up, um, but today we're going to be uh, probably attacking the Axis, we're going to be building up to it at least, we'll see. So, um, yeah, let's just get right started, oh, we already hit play, anyway. We do have a war goal available in Spain, and maybe we'll use it before 1940. I don't know, but at this stage, I don't want to use it. We tried to demand and cattle on your thing in case it worked. Because it might have, there's a solid chance. But in retrospect, you know, it just ended up being a waste of time. Which sucks, because time is valuable. But, oh well. So. Uh. Engineering. Yeah, let's get. Anti tank rifles. Probably an okay investment. Given that, you know, we do have a bit of heart attack, but we can make it a lot stronger. Okay, Republic of Turkey presses the Hate issue. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Selal Bayar has written a strongly worded letter demanding that the Turkish population of the Syrian state of Hate be permitted their democratic right to a referendum so that the people of Hate can decide whether or not they want to join the Republic of Turkey or remain a part of Syria indefinitely. Our colonial police have been have uncovered unlawful activity on the Turkish border, with Turkish nationals crossing into the country and causing a ruckus in the Hatay province. It is clear that the Republic of Turkey plans to skew the referendum results to ensure a Turkish victory, but having the Republic of Turkey endeared to us would surely be preferable than the alternative, whose sale far so little they are, will go to ensure Hatay is integrated into the Republic of Turkey. Um, hmm. Turkey's democratic. don't want to risk war. Does the Tay have any industry in it? No. It is literally... You know what? I'll take it. It's fine. Because the Tay, we lose a bit of uh, that, but we'll probably gain manpower on balance. Um, and yeah, we'll be fine. Whatever. Because there's no, there's no factories is the key thing. Um, if there were factories there, I'd be a lot more annoyed, but there's none, so who cares? Why press the issue? We'll get it back in time, though. don't worry. <laughs> okay, we got... Computing machine, now we research faster. We're almost gotten rid of the debuff from elite difficulty. Uh, we'll get a pretty nice small arms. Given that we still have victors of the Great War, and uh, as such, still have terrible, terrible research speed for military doctrines. Let's take that construction company to increase our production speed. Yeah. Seems to be going solid. Uh, I don't know what that voice was. My voice was very high for a second. That was funny. Um, I guess we'll try to get 10 motorized factories. And I want to get some factories for using fighters. Um, and then once the, we're through those two things, we'll start focusing on even more on getting better support equipment and field artillery production. So yeah, this is definitely not satisfactory. We need to get this up a fair bit. But we have increased our military factories very, very quickly. So, you know, could be worse. Like, yeah, the amount of factories we've had is increased. Um, yeah, 1936, well, we reached a low of 34, but we had 54. Today we've, yeah, we've, we've roughly doubled in two years, which is solid. Um, well, who knows what Germany's like, but I imagine, yeah, it's way better. Um, <laughs> we're definitely the underdog still, very definitely. But this this war in South America does give us a chance to turn things around. So, hence national funds. Let's go right up to partial mob. Uh, speaking of that decision, let's see, uh, assimilate Wallonia. Ah, they have over fifty compliance. How close are we? We're not that close. But we will be able to assimilate them, so that's good. Um, I 
Let's see, where is, what's that? Because the decision was, um, hmm. Uh, was, or maybe it's an economic policy, I guess. No, well, where is it? Where's that decision that it was supposed to unlock? It was supposed to unlock industrial concern integration. Or does it just give us that? Oh, it gave us it. Okay, cool. So now we're getting 30% more political power and 15% factory output until the war starts. So that's really good and will allow us to get a bunch of stuff that we probably need. Nice. Uh, the state's mandate. Fine inspiration would be nice. We'd get us some war support. We, I think, would be nice, but I think focusing on stability is probably better for now. So maybe we get, we get, uh, I don't know. I don't know how we could get more stability, to be honest, because uh, we don't have that many advisors. Hmm. We'll, we'll figure it out. So, let's go there. Attention. What are these cav divisions even like? They really suck. We're probably better off just not having them. Uh, -bon. Alpine divisions. These guys are okay. They could use a bit of a modification, but I'm definitely alright with having these guys. Um, yeah, because they're 24 width, which is uh, strange. Um, let's make them smaller combat width. Make them... A solid 20 width because we, we haven't had the update yet. I'm excited for the update later this month. That'll make it so that you don't have to have strict 20 combat width. That'll be very good. Yeah. Okay. Well, that'll be those divisions now. Uh, let's actually recruit a couple of those. We can recruit four. Well, not all at once, but yeah, cool. Okay, coordinate land equipment manufacturers, whatever. Get rid of that. We could do promises of peace. Eh. Nah. Commercial mobilization will be good, though. 5% consumer good factories. And the Mexican Civil War, in which one side joins the Axis. Why? What? What? Is there a war? Hey, wait. Oh, no. The, the, what? Okay, so now Germany's at war with the Soviets because of, like, proxy wars in South America. Great. Well, I mean, that definitely helps us. Um, I don't really know how... I sure get that. Are they going to try to take it from the jerk? Well, we might have an opening. We might have an opening. Well, we'll, we'll wait and see, okay? we got to have our troops get out in the field first before we can even take advantage of said opening. But we might just have an opening. War propaganda. I'd rather focus on getting advisors. Oh, cool. We're finally... Starting to push through this backlog. Nope. Let's, nope. Let's get set those up. Then maybe soon we'll be able to start deciding what we want for our navy, rather than just going with what the game gave us at the beginning. Um, hmm. We're producing a pretty solid amount of support equipment. It's not enough for our army, but it's, it's okay. Dominican Republic left uh, that alliance. I wonder why. Because they joined the Axis. What the? <laughs> okay. I like how the U.S. just hasn't... I guess because it's all broken out in weird ways, but they just haven't gotten involved in any of this. Order 66 taking place in Hispaniola. Jeez. Let's see. So. Go 
concentrated industry, power, partial mobilization. We're building, we're building. Um, Wartime Organization Act, that's mediocre. Um, aircraft nationalization, ooh. Both of these are, I think I'll go with military complex nationalization. Our fabrication facilities and production capacity are still limited. We can force the nationalization of some crucial manufacturers to reach some real production efficiency. Nice. So that'll give us a war industrialist advisor, which will be very good. It will allow us potentially to actually catch up, because we'll be able to have three lines making uh, military factories. Um, what's the other place where we can get Ile de France, Pas de Calais, Champagne, and Alsace? Okay. Champagne and uh, Alsace is where it's also Serain. Um, well, wherever. I guess maybe they mean there. Um, so we'll, we'll build some there just so they're more inland. Danzig International Crisis. Poland is demanding. Poland is basically demanding Danzig, vote that Poland should can occupy Danzig. Interesting. I wonder if that'll lead anywhere. through 1939, just a couple of months. I think this playthrough's gone good so far. We've had a really, really, really rough start, um, to say the least, but we're doing all right. We're taking it back, you know? Military theorists, now that might not be so bad. Although, eh. We, oh, yeah, no, we have in general 150 political power, so we can. Do we get hit, or is he just available? We'll, I think we'll wait so that we can get that guy. Okay. Probably the best thing for us right now. French Congo became a puppet. We're getting a lot of political power now. Yeah, cool. We're, 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 we got momentum. Okay. That's good. Put and send it there. No. Oh! Jesus. Poland has, um... Oh, wow. Okay, so Yugoslavia did go full, just breakup route. <laughs> oh, God. Look at them. It's glorious. Montenegro. Kosovo. Um... Uh, Macedonia, Dalmatia, Croatia, Bonovia. Are they gonna free, um, uh, yeah, Vavlodina, uh, Serbska, and then, and then have, uh, Bo Bosnia, Hannah, Croatian, Bosnia. It'll be great. It'll be beautiful. Just the more the better. The more the merrier, okay? And after it's, uh, it's whatever. Did they actually join the war? Yeah, they did. Interesting. Um, I guess we could get for no, nah, no. Nah, we need we want production efficiency cap because that is going to hold us back hardcore. <laughs> Means our factories will just be less efficient than everyone else's by a pretty significant margin. <sighs> Okay, Haiti is capitulated.
Okay, Italy has annexed Albania. Alright. I do like the Hoi 2 soundtrack. It's really good, and that's what this is, because you can set it for different things, and I always set it to the Hearts of Iron Classic one. I don't know, I just prefer the older soundtrack to the newer one. I was born in the wrong generation, man. I like Hoi 2 music, yeah. I used to play Hoi 2 as a kid, though. That was, that was fun times. Um, good game, very good game. Uh, well, probably doesn't stand up in the same way now, but at the time it was a lot of fun. You know. Grab that. Um, war effort law. The only problem with this is that are we going to be demanded to turn it back down? Well, we could just not care about that. And you know what? I kind of don't care. I kind of really think we need to go all out. So, war effort law it is. So that'll allow us to do a lot of stuff. Yeah, we'll actually probably be able to develop an air force because of that. We'll be able to do a lot of stuff. It'll be good. It's necessary. Otherwise, we're kind of screwed. Aircraft designer, mass pilot, mass fighter production. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm actually completely ironic, unironically going to do that. Um, because we need fighters so if they crash a little more that's okay it's fine also the less air research speed will be really good it means that starting very soon we can get 1940 fighters and then pump out a lot of them uh so yeah we need that and we'll just be able to make more for less pretty much although they will be worse but you know hey that's that's how it goes okay It only reduces reliability, too, is the one thing. It doesn't reduce range, it doesn't reduce anything like that. And those are the really important modifiers. Well, and the other stuff, too. I mean, reliability is important as well, but I think 16% less construction cost will is value efficient with, with less reliability. And given that we have very little Air Force now, I think that just pumping out a lot of stuff is probably the right move. Okay, now we're up to 116 factories, so we're, we're making really solid growth, okay? Uh, Aquitaine, uh, Brittany, Normandy. Just get them out. Écoutez. The more military factories, the better. Yeah, we're going to keep reducing the amount we need for consumer goods. Um... We're going to reduce it further with this, and then we're going to reduce it even further with wartime organization. And then we'll reduce the amount of production we need for all the stuff that we making, we're making, and that'll be even better. So, yeah. So, yeah, Consumer Goods Factories is... It, get, it gets more crippling the later on you get, because like, even like later on, if you don't maintain a good ratio of civilian to military factories, yeah, later on, even like 5%, because it's, it's percent of total factories, but only civilian factories can be subtracted for it. So let's say that you have like 300 military factories and 70 civilian factories, right? Um, <laughs> you, you get like 10%. Uh, you basically, you have like very, you'll have very, very little civilian factories. And, you know, um, so it can get really, really, really painful. Uh, let's do excavation. Because, yeah, we get a lot of factories from trade, uh, which is nice. Okay. 
Um, so yeah, look at that. We export so much to people. Aluminum. Particularly steel. We export a lot of steel. That's good. So in total, we get eight factories from trade. Really nice. Is that... Yeah, okay, whatever. And then we're going to reduce the amount of consumer goods factories even further. And yeah, it's going to be great. So yeah, right now it's a quarter of our total factories, which is just 25, but that ends up being half of our civilian factories. Bye. So, it makes a pretty big difference. Uh... I guess I'll go with order above all eventually for law enforcement, although maybe not. Maybe we'll go for individual rights. We'll do the whole Napoleonic charter stuff. Um, I'm getting a call, and it's called call. It's spam call, so I'm just going to hang up. Who cares? Whatever. Um, let's just make convoys for now, uh, since I don't really want to commit resources is the key thing to... Uh, producing a navy, particularly since we don't really need to right now. Uh, so, what do we want to focus on? I guess it's focus further on the one we're behind the most in, so artillery. So we'll put that up there. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it in this order. We'll do artillery, uh, motorized, and then support equipment. It's the order we'll get them up to 15 factories. Seize machine toolings in Holland. Uh, it'll make Holland pissed off at us. I don't really see the point. I'd rather just make them compliant more with time. Now we could remove the Maginot line, although I don't really... Is there any reason to do that? Uh, nah, it's fine. We'll keep it. Zelda. For now, at least. Uh, okay, so... We have War Effort Law, Get Wartime Organization Act, also, do we, where is that military complex nationalizations thing? Is that a, is this a real thing, or is it just uh, not going to show up for whatever reason? Or maybe it only shows up during war. Who knows? Yeah, war, war economy. So we gained five civilian factories from that, so that was really good. And hopefully we can gain some more. So yeah, we're simultaneously gaining civilian factories from increasing global trade and uh, um, reducing consumer goods. Yeah, I mean, just basically the key to good econ in this game is uh, free trade. You, you need you need um, it on free trade, mo vast majority of situations, maybe not if you're in like the depths of war and you don't have any, well yeah, if everyone hates you then I guess free trade doesn't matter, but otherwise, because pe people will get stuff from you, and you get like a ton of free factories, and yes, because we get like 10 civilian factories, um, at no consequence, basically, it's great, and including right. all the other modifiers too, so probably even more factories due to the construction speed. Yeah, just really, really good, really useful. Um, hmm. We'll go with uh, yeah, 1939 artillery. Yeah. For this, we're going to want to get up to 20 eventually, but not right now. Since I'd rather get equipment on the lines then um you know upgrade the equipment 
Is all the okay, we can actually finally make another army. Uh, do we even have enough generals? No, we don't. Oh, we can hire a new commander. I'm fine with that. Uh, this stays fine. And yeah, cool. Another army. Uh, well, these guys don't even Aye. have a uh, front line. Same with uh, the army on the German front. Now I think Gardez about bon. um, Écoutez. Let's actually assign them to a front line. That, you know, it might be useful at some point. You know, it also builds up planning. And we, we manage to have that front line go into the uh, there. And, to go there. Okay, cool. Yeah, the artillery is really messing us up at the moment, so I guess we'll prioritize that over the other stuff. Um, armor, well, yeah, let's start researching medium tanks. So we can actually start putting them out into the field and have tank divisions. There's no point making the light tanks if we're just going to phase them out, right? Like, before we even have any real war, so... Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll prioritize getting this up to 20, because this is holding us back the most, it seems, right now Good at least. We are expanding the size of our army, though, slowly but surely. Yeah, wartime organization will help us even further. We get, like, another... Probably like five civilian Result. factories. Now we're up to 132. It's pretty good. It's pretty pretty large amount of factories, you know? Um, considering we had a civil war and all this other stuff that interrupted our growth. Um, modified government. Political advisor. Well, no, no, we wanted to. Um, I don't want to get another political advisor until we can get the captive industry guy. Uh, I guess we start chief of. Well, no, no, no chief of army. I get. Isn't it going to be? Um, yeah, it's going to be the. We get that with the Gaul strategy. So hold off there. Uh, I'll, I'll wait on those guys. It's okay to, now we don't need to desperately throw it all into the. Um, the laws, because the laws are fine for the most part. It also might be might be good to have some saved up to go to extensive construction when the war starts. Wartime organization. So we get even more factories. Um, and then we definitely, I think... No, no, no. I think we, we do further armament program and then... National Railway Company. And hopefully, because we're not guaranteeing Poland, so we're not going to be drawn into the war yet. We can start the war when we want. And I want to start the war when they invade Poland. And I, I don't know when they're going to. They might have. They might delay it now that they're technically at war with the Soviets, which would be great. It means we can start the war on our own terms. 1939 Royal Tour of Canada. Cool. Um... Greece joined the South American faction because Italy declared war on them. Okay, that's fun. They're not joining NATO, though. That's NATO. Sorry. Uh, the Allies. Jeez. <laughs> Jumping a little ahead in the timeline there. Um, interesting. I wonder why. Oh, whatever. 
Not that I'm out of mirrors, because that will Attention. be useful to us soon. Italy's just a fire enemy. What? Isn't there focus? Uh, let's see. France. Claims on France. Oh! Shit. Well, hope they don't do that. I... Will they start a war against me? Oh, God. Um... Well, we'll see. Okay. If they do... The... Friend, the Italians aren't the problem. We'll be fine against the, the whole lot of the Germans are the problem, definitely. Uh, and we'll have to Écoutez. be quite careful around them. Écoutez. Okay, we've got less troops on a longer line. Well, okay, no, we, have, we have more troops on the line technically, but like we've got a lot of troops on the Italian thing because I wanted to focus on getting another army there, but, yeah, uh, maybe let's put another 12 divisions in the queue, I think that sounds fine. What's with these guys? Unable to move to a province, okay, I don't know why they all have that. Um, it's probably because it was originally through the checks or whatever. Japan declared war on Korea. Korea, so Germany's gonna be at war with Japan? Oh god. Oh no. It's all gone to hell, hasn't it? Greece is pushing back the Italians, though. So, you know what? I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I think we'll be fine against them. Right. Um, if they can't even win against the Greeks. Oh my god. No offense to the Greeks, you know, but. Not exactly like the premier military power of the world or anything, okay? What's all? Paris. Actually, no, 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 no. Paris. Just assign them here. Paris. And then have this form the basis of a new army. Because uh, I want to put an army here, I guess, for now. And then produce this front line of that. Gardez vos rangs. Let's focus on increasing how good our companies are, I guess, because, yeah, having extra recon would be good. Okay, like 36 artillery. That might seem like an odd decision, but I think it's worth it to build up the... We don't want to upgrade Attention. later. I think upgrading now is fine, because we actually have the time to do it. Generally, I like to upgrade as soon as I have it available. That's out of, like, extremely exceptional circumstances. Okay. Let's just focus on developing the areas that aren't going to get increased by that one focus. So we gain like one roughly every, well, well, we'll even that out to a month. So I guess it takes roughly a month for us to get one. And we have three of 15, so we get one every, we get three every month, which is, uh, you know, pretty good. Pretty good rate of growth, I will say. Um, destruction. Yeah, 
look at that. We, so we started at... Yeah, we had about 51 factories three years ago, and now we have 135. And then a few more, if you add the ones that we have for trade, I guess. Or maybe those are just ones that haven't been counted yet. I don't know, whatever. How many do we get for trade? We get, we get a lot for trade, actually. Oh, my. Yeah, we have less going to consumer factories than, than ever, uh, despite having more factories than ever. So, so we have had an economic miracle, basically. We, we've pulled it out, you know, now we have a really solid group of armies. I feel pretty confident. I think we're going to be good. We didn't actually start things with the Axis in this episode. Um, we just did further build up, but I think now this one's gone pretty long, so I think, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess you'll see in the next episode, um, when we actually, well, hopefully, because I, I won't make promises given that we didn't do it in this episode, but, uh, hopefully we'll actually start things against the Axis. So, if you enjoyed that, uh, like and subscribe, uh, it's Funny Based Man, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.